It's very, very scary, President Trump reveals what it's like to get America's nuclear codes and insists he'll do the right thing if the time comes as he gives his first interview inside the White House. The president admitted gaining control of the nuclear codes was sobering. He told ABC's David Muir he nonetheless believed he'll do the right job. The interview was the president's first since taking office on Friday. He also discussed the beautiful letter he received from Barack Obama and how he thinks Chicago's violence is worse than Afghanistan's. The president shared his belief that waterboarding absolutely works and will leave torture up to his generals. He also addressed his immigrant bans on Muslim nations and said it was going to become extremely hard to get into the country with his new extreme vetting. President Trump said the world is as angry as it gets and that he couldn't have therefore inflamed the issue of immigration and terror because it was already out of hand. Complained again that voter fraud cost him the popular vote but said if he had campaigned for it he would have won it, won it. In his first interview since taking office, President Trump gave glimpses of being humbled by his sobering new responsibilities between intrepid promises to maintain his campaign vows. Speaking with ABC's David Muir, he went from gently praising the beautiful letter left for him in the Oval Office by Barack Obama to brazenly describing Chicago as more violent than Afghanistan. Among his admissions was that receiving the nuclear codes was a very scary experience which brought home the enormity of the job. When they explain what it represents and the kind of destruction that you're talking about, it is a very sobering moment. It's very, very, very scary in a sense. Not quite scary enough to keep him up at night, he said. I have confidence I'll do the right thing, the right job, but it's a very scary thing. He later told of the beautiful letter he'd been left in the resolute desk by Barack Obama but did not, as is tradition between presidents, reveal its contents, contents, I won't show it to you, read it to you, but a just a beautiful letter. There were numerous lines. So well written, so thoughtful, so thoughtful. I doubt too many of them were written in this manner. He really, in fact I called him and thanked him for the thought that was put into that letter. It was long, it was complex, it was thoughtful and it took time to do it and I appreciated it. He repeated his earlier condemnation of Chicago's rising gun violence, describing its shooting epidemic as worse than the brutality seen in war zones. It's carnage. You know, in my speech I got tremendous, from certain people the word carnage. It is carnage. It's horrible carnage. This is Afghanistan, is not like what's happening in Chicago. People are being shot left and right. Thousands of people over a period, over a short period of time. Chicago is like a war zone. Chicago is worse than some of the people that you report in some of the places that you report about every night, he mused. He said he would love to help state law enforcement to address the violence which was getting in the way of Chicago being a great city, great city. President Trump also showed Muir around the newly decorated White House, pointing to photographs from his inaugural weekend. Trump also told Muir how he didn't believe he could exasperate the anger surrounding his anti-Muslim immigration plans because the world was as angry as it gets. The president also spoke of the gun violence in Chicago, telling Muir it was worse than in Afghanistan. It can't be a great city if people are shot walking down the street for a loaf of bread. On Tuesday, the president threatened to send in the feds if the Illinois state government didn't dramatically reduce the problem. While many have slammed Trump's anti-Muslim immigration policies as inflammatory, he said there was no way for him to contribute to the animosity surrounding the issue because it is already as heated as it gets. The world is a mess. The world is as angry as it gets. What? You think this is gonna cause a little more anger? The world is an angry place. He defended plans to keep put a ban on refugees and Syrian immigrants entering the country, explaining that he wants to prevent another 9-11. Trump is expected to announce a new refugee policy that replaced a proposed ban on Muslim immigrants any day now. Trump's Talking Points Nuclear Codes It's very, very scary but I have confidence I'll do the right thing.
Obama letter. Very beautiful, I appreciate it. Chicago. This is Afghanistan. It's horrible carnage. Chicago is like a war zone. The war on terror. I want to keep people in this country safe and torture works. Obamacare. I want to take care of everybody. We will unleash something that's going to be terrific. Voter fraud and the popular vote. What's going on with voter fraud is horrible and I would have won the popular vote if I was campaigning for the popular vote. Inauguration crowd size. We had supposedly the biggest crowd in history. A draft of the executive order that was leaked to the press Wednesday calls for an indefinite halt to admission for Syrian refugees, and a four-month ban for all others. The Trump administration is also considering a 30-day suspension, at least, of visas for anyone from Iran, Iraq, Libya, Somalia, Sudan, Syria or Yemen, according to Reuters. While not explicitly aimed at keeping immigrants out who are followers of Islam, the policies would have that effect. The countries affected by the new regulations are majority Muslim. Syrians would be offered protection within a safe zone inside their country, an idea that was considered by the previous administration and discarded because of the resources it would take to enforce it. People that come in, in many cases, in some cases with evil intentions. I don't want that. They're ISIS. They're coming under false pretense. I don't want that. We are going to have extreme vetting in all cases. And I mean extreme. And we're not letting people in if we think there's even a little chance of some problem. We are excluding certain countries. But for other countries we're gonna have extreme vetting. It's going to be very hard to come in. Right now it's very easy to come in. It's gonna be very, very hard. I don't want terror in this country. You look if she get on top and turn around, I'm busting. If she do that thing.